We showed people pictures of David Beckham with a soccer ball between his feet. This is Yao Ming, the basketball between his feet. Or we showed people pictures of Beckham with a basketball between his feet, or Yao Ming with a soccer ball between his feet. And what we expected to find was that when Beckham had the soccer ball between his feet, or when Yao Ming had the basketball between his feet, they would be overestimated because they have an incredible reputation either for soccer or for basketball. But we didn't expect to see the same overestimation when you flip them around because Beckham, as far as I know, has no reputation for being a basketballer. And what people had to do is they had to look at each picture independently and they simply had to mark off his height relative to the soccer ball or relative to the basketball. So if you're looking at this picture here, you might see one of these on a separate sheet, but the soccer ball could be any size. We change the sizes. So it's a relative judgment that you're making. This is what we found. Yao Ming, sure enough, was overestimated when he had a basketball between his feet. David Beckham overestimated when he had a soccer ball between his feet. Yao Ming, with a soccer ball between his feet, wasn't overestimated. In fact, he was slightly underestimated. But interestingly enough, David Beckham was overestimated when he had a basketball between his feet. Probably not as surprising as you'd think, because Beckham has gone beyond being a soccer player. I mean, he's now a global icon, and he's renowned as a celebrity, if you like. So probably his reputation goes beyond soccer. And I've got plans to, to run the study again with Beckham in maybe 10 years. So in 10 years, he's going to be in his mid to late 40s. You know, he's probably lost his hair. He's no longer strikingly good looking. People will probably have forgotten him. So when we run this study again, I'm, I'm predicting that we won't find that he's overestimated. In other words, his reputation will have dropped. Reputations can be manipulated. And I apologise for the, this is a poor quality slide. But this is Jersey Dudek standing in a goal. And this is prior to a penalty shootout in the Champions League in 2005, which anyone who follows Liverpool tell me if I'm wrong. It's probably the last time Liverpool won a trophy. Maybe they'll win one this year. So what we did with this particular study is we asked people to come into the lab. They saw this thrown up on the screen a little bit like this. And then they were presented with a sheet like this. It didn't have a tick on it. And they were told, look at the picture on the screen and tell us which one of these slides represents Jersey Dudek standing in the goal. Pretty easy. And these participants were Hong Kong students. So they, none of them knew anything about Jersey Dudek. So it happened a few years ago. We ran the study about two or three years ago. So they didn't know who he was. They, he didn't have a reputation for them, if you like. So when they did the estimates, they were pretty accurate. So there wasn't a lot of overestimation going on. But then what we did is we showed them video. So here is video of Jersey Dudek making four saves. That's all, just four saves. Takes a little bit to come up. Here we go. So that's it. So one group saw Dudek make four saves, and he made those saves in the, in the final. The other group, and I won't bother showing you the other group, the other group saw him missing four. So you've got four saves versus four non-saves. And we're interested to see what would happen in, with respect to his, his reputation. Would people overestimate him or underestimate him? And this is what we found. When they saw him make, or should I say not make, four saves, they underestimated his height. When they saw him make the saves, they overestimated his height. That's a pretty decent interaction that we've got there. So just by showing people clips, four clips, we'd manipulated Dudek's reputation to the extent that we changed people's perceptions of his height quite dramatically. 